Welcome, and in this video, I will be doing an unboxing of a gift I received from Aneida. She is a founder of Casa Dos Chicas Cafe. This is not a paid sponsorship. I just want to share good coffee when I know one. So I'll leave her link in my description. It's getting close to the holidays, so you can taste good coffee and share it with your friends. Okay, I'm really excited about this deck for a couple reasons. I would like to learn more about the mudras and share that journey with you. And what is a mudra and maybe why should we even dabble in that? Well, for a couple reasons why I am interested in it. And it is that the understanding, like I know one thing that when you don't know, you don't know, but when you know, then you begin to really understand this vehicle called the human body. and. This is something you can look up. At the end of our hands are over 10,000 nerves. And so imagine the nerves come at the end of our hands and also at the end of our feet. And as they're pumping different nutrients and oxygen and air and everything that it does to our different organs, they are also traveling through those parts of the organs. So in Eastern medicine, there is a whole chart about healing with all the organs and spine and stomach and heart all here in our hands. So that's why if you've heard of acupuncture, acupressure, when you touch different points in your body, not only in your hands, you can relieve and accelerate or help healing. So having said that, mudra is in the East known as um, symbolic hand gestures that are used in meditation in association with meditation, with yoga, or for healing. And also, uh, it's also related with the chakra, the pinwheels that we just talked about. Many of us are familiar with the, you know, seven major chakras, you know, the root chakra, the sacral, and we know where they are, right? So knowing also that our hands are, it's a bunch of little pin, pinwheels, and knowing just some of the basic stuff may help us begin to decode the use of our human body and help ourselves for any healing as well. So the five elements are said to be in our hands with the pinky being water, the ring finger being earth, the middle finger being space or ether, the index finger being air, and the thumb being fire. So those are the five elements in our hands. And also the chakras are associated with each one of these fingers on both hands, you know, matching. So we start with here with the sacral. The ring finger is the root. The middle finger is the throat. The index finger is the heart. And the thumb is the solar plexus. So having said that, it is one way that we can begin to kind of have that if we are feeling a little bit off. This is really good to know because if you are at work or somewhere where you're feeling a little bit stressed and you know which chakra you need to start activating, you're not gonna sit there and you know start massaging or bringing your crystals to you know work yourself through, but you can give your finger a little massage and it's just something that you are familiar with. Some people already um, do like they massage their hands and they have no idea that they're actually bringing circulation and, and you know, helping their body out. So this is really good stuff. And I'm looking forward to sharing this in my private sessions as well as here on the channel when I do our readings. Additionally, with all these nerves, and all of this is part of that ganglion system in the body, and having said that there are 10,000 nerve endings in our hands, and all part of the ganglion system, which is part of that peripheral nervous system that's throughout the body, that sends signals to the central nervous system. So imagine if we are going through and learning how to use this human body. Well, the purpose of this is to help you. But if you are a tarot lover and are curious about what this deck looks like, I hope that curiosity will be satiated. Let's go ahead. We have here Mudras for Awakening the Five Elements, deck and book set written by Alison De Nicola, artwork by Sabina Exponay. We 
nice little square box or mudra in the back gives you a little background mudras for awakening the five elements is a special set of 40 vibrant cards illustrating 35 mudras and five elements all right this was put together by us games systems inc in connecticut all right let's open it up and let it breathe for the first time wow look at that it is beautiful okay and we will bring out the book okay oh nice book has a very nice texture on the pages I'm not going to go through the whole thing but definitely we could see through the in table of contents the cards elements water elements might be a second page to this oh there's actually two more pages so that they, they give an explanation of all the mudras that's what I'm gathering and just a little spinning through we could see that the decks are illustrated in each of these inside the book so without further ado let's jump in oh there's a picture of the uh let's see the artist there she is splendid and we have a picture of the author okay there's alice and nicola okay let's move on to the next step okay okay so they have they have added they have placed plastic in this as well okay we will open that up And they feel really nice, as any new deck of cards do. Let me just get a feel for this. They are just big enough to handle and small enough to, to work with. So they are off, obviously an off size. So let's go through flip by flip and take a look at the cards here. So I'll, I'll go ahead and flip and lay down. Okay, so this is Earth Element. Pirithivi, and it talks about the earth element, the yoga poses you can use if you're familiar with yoga. This earth earth element is associated with the sense of smell. This energy center is the root chakra. Okay, the symbols, elephant, turtles, the rules, it rules legs and feet, elimination, skeletal system and the qualities of trust, stability, support, and organization. So Earth is all about that. Okay, the second element that they have here is the water element. This is designed for it. And Jala talks about the yoga poses. It rules taste. Earth rules smell. Okay. The fire element. Tejas. And it rules sight and gives you the yoga poses. The energy center is the solar plex chakra. The air element, Vayu. Senses touch. The energy center is heart chakra. So the air is associated with heart chakra. Space, ether element is akasha oh yeah the akasha the akasha records you're accessing i get that uh the sense is hearing yes i get that too because you need to tune into what is in the akasha and this is throat chakra and beyond so it's hearing and communicating i get this one 100 percent all right and i love that it's purple and then we move into the mudras now what i'll do is i'll go ahead and i'll put these upside down and we will work 
from whatever is the back one to the top. So the, the mandala mudra, I am perfect and whole exactly as I am. That's an affirmation to focus on. Beautiful. Dharma Pravartana Mudra Alignment Pachamuka Mudra I align with nature and receive balanced focus on all levels. You ever see do you ever see when you're at a meeting the leader usually has that steeple? That's no coincidence, right? Focus, trying to keep focus. Usha's Mudra. I awaken the potential within and open to my highest truth. Mm. Potential. Hakini Mudra. I honor the divine union of body, mind, and spirit. Mm, I like this mudra already. Sahasrara mudra. I awaken the divine union of all in the universe. I'm just going to first tell you, be careful what you're going to wake up. <laughs> okay, I like this one too. I love purple. Sumuka mudra. All of my senses align for perfect clarity and violence. I've seen this, uh, like, you know, we make gestures all the time and it's like, do you get this? Do you get this? <laughs> so balance, you're trying to like, you know, get your brain to their brain. Come on, we got to get together here. That makes sense, right? Chin mudra, I'm sure it's not talking about our chin, right? I uncover and honor the unique wisdom within. Okay. It's interesting. This is a very common mudra when you're doing that, when you're sitting doing meditation, right? The yoga. You see them placing that on the lap. Akasha mudra. Ah, akasha. It's about, right, what's in the Akasha records. You've heard of that? That was my hand. That's, yeah, it's this. Wait a minute. Akasha. Shunya Mudra. Hmm. It's beautiful. I love the colors. I love the simplicity. I love what it's relating for us to work on. It might be something that we may, may need that particular day. I open to sense inner stillness and knowing. Shankavarta Mudra. So I have seen the Shankavarta Mudra for stillness. So what I'm already understanding is that there may be different variations of the mudra, the prana mudra. Okay, energize. I love the color blue. Very pretty. The karuna mudra. Hmm. Interesting. Compassion. I'm trying to make that association with compassion, right? Hamsi mudra. I move through life with lightness and joy. Of course you would. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. Kapota Mudra. Hmm. Peace. Oh, that's a whole variation of what peace would feel. I have a sense of peace like you're in some type of temple and in there is that peace, right? Do you get that feeling? I do. Okay, the Purna Hridaya Mudra. Oh, this is the open heart mudra. Vayu Mudra. Lightness and compassion awakens my highest truth. Indeed, indeed. Ganesha Mudra. Okay. I've seen a different variation of the Ganesha as it's coming together before it comes into that state. What I have seen is mudras being used together. Rudra mudra. Rudra mudra. Hmm. Nice. I like how these in the fire kind of 
really accentuates where the centers of the mudra is. Agali Agni Mudra. Beautiful, beautiful mudra for purifying. The Adomuka Mudra. I activate and awaken my inner treasure. Ooh, I gotta work on this one so I can start sharing my inner treasures with you. Activation Nation. The Gupta Mudra. Okay, for spiritual discipline. Oh, I feel that intensity of that mudra. Assimilation. Like there's a need to assimilate everything that we're learning. The Vaj Vajra Mudra. Oh, beautiful. It almost looks like that. Like a little mask that you need to put over your eyeball, right? Like Batman. The Kilaka Mudra. Like a water element here. I allow a greater bond and connection with all to emerge. Union. Ooh, I love this mudra. The Ishvara mudra. Inner sense. I like it. The Vidam mudra. I open to the vital and subtle energy that is within. I open to the vital that is within. Vitality. The Varuna Mudra, inner nourishment, suppleness, and fluidity. Seems like a very supporting gesture right there, right? The Shakti Mudra. I open and allow the divine potential within to emerge. Mm, nice. I like the this other background. It's very sweet. Jala Mudra. Mm, I've seen this one also a lot. Okay. Flow. Flow. Okay, the Pala Mudra. Nice. This one reminds me, it's for receptivity. This reminds me of Airbender. This mudra, um, it is one that is, with the mudras, you can rotate them. So this is one where you start in one position and then you rotate the mudra and feel the energy. Okay, the Dvimukha mudra. I don't know how you would say that, right? But I would, I'm going to say Vimukha mudra. Supposing that the D would be silent, I doubt it. Deepening. The Chinmaya Mudras. I wonder if this is a variation of the Chin Mudra. I like this one. I rest in the knowledge of truth, trust, and support. Ooh. So basically, you curl your fingers in and you really put it in that pin point. I rest in that trust. Pushpaputa Mudra. Okay, it's like the giving mudra. Apana Mudra. Stability. Okay. The Murti Mudra. Nice. Okay, so this takes us. Okay, we went through. That's one of the element cards that comes from the bottom. Well, there you have it. Before we close out, let me shuffle the deck. I hope that you have enjoyed this unboxing, this beautiful gift. And thank you, Oneida. And for that, we will now shuffle, give this deck its official first shuffle. Okay, let's give this a shuffle and see which one will be revealed for us as we give this deck its first voyage. Okay, we'll shuffle and then I will split the deck right about here and this one will be the card. Integration. Hakini.
So for all of us, let us tune in with the Hakini Mudra of Integration. How beautiful is that? It will... Oh my goodness, I am like getting goosebumps. Here we go for the human race. Integration, freedom, and wholeness to assist all the systems of the body, supports overall health and wellness, supports full body breath and awareness, balances right and left energy channels. The element are all, we are all. That's beautiful. So we're going to bring the hands to face each other in front of the torso. Gently allow the tips of all fingers to touch the same fingers on the right and left hands. Hold the hands rounded as if holding a ball. Relax the shoulders and back and down, lengthen the spine and focus on, I honor the divine union of body, mind and spirit. Beautiful. Thank you for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and card flip. And make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll meet each other at the next video.